thermosphere is something which is extending up to 5 to 10 millimeter region there from the seed. That is from an imbibed seed. So, imbibed seed further produces a root that is through formation of radical. What is meant by imbibed seed? Look at this particular image. You can able to understand what is the meaning for an imbibed seed. So, you are keeping the dry seeds there in the water. When you keep it for a overnight, the seeds will be getting soaked and they will take the water. As a result, they will be formed into swollen seeds. So, these swollen seeds further produces the radical root as well as the shoot region. So, thus the spermosphere refers to a small zone around the seeds that is in the imbibed seed. It is up to some 2 to even sometimes 12 millimeter region from the seed. So, this particular region is the place where interaction between soil, microbial communities and generating seeds will be taking place. And this particular effect will be long lasting impact on the plant system. What are the compounds that will be commonly exuded there from the seeds? So, there is three different peaks of exudation can be observed on a seed, which includes an initiation of the exudation during seed imbibition and then the next exudation during the few hours after the imbibition and the third kind of a exudation is during the radical emergence stage. Exudation of the secretion of some chemicals from the imbibed seed. That is they used to call as exudates, seed exudates. In the exudates, here it contains carbohydrate, organic acid, various alcohol, fatty acids, amino acids, protein and even certain secondary metabolites and inorganic ions will be present in a more amount there in this kind of exudates. What are the microbial communities that could be present there in the spermosphere? They can be of a two origins. They can come from the host plant itself or they can come from the soil dependent. That is, one host plant will seed form and the seed could be a microorganism will be coming. The microorganism will be originating there from the soil. So, these are the two places from which the microbes will be entering there into the seed system. What are the microbes a lot of gram negative and gram positive bacteria, true fungi such as a fungi that belongs to Ascomycota and even certain fungi like organisms they used to call straminophils. Example is a Umycota. Umycota and a group of organisms they will be present in more amount there in the seed. Here is a list of organisms that have been enriched. Enriched is in natural present. You artificial and the seed will organize the ad pandering. Ad pandradala, what is the advantage there for the plant system? If you look at Azospirulum brazilens, in the particular organism, the seed will be able to do You can able to promote the seed germination. Main up at the maximum organism that will be playing a role there in the increase in the percentage of seed germination. Promote seed germination. Promote seed germination. Some kind of organism, say for example, Enterobacter cloacae, they can able to control a fungi, Pythium ultimum. This fungi can able to cause rotting there on the germinating seedlings. That could be possible by this particular organism, that is Enterobacter cloacae. That is another example of Pseudomonas chlororaphis, which can able to control the seed borne diseases. Seeds will just spread out diseases eh, in the particular organism that enrich pannathu mulo nama control pannla. So like this if you learn a few example of microorganism there in the seed that can able to influence the plant system that will be enough for your understanding.